And so I congratulate all of those who are here today. And it is now my great pleasure to introduce one of those students from the 90s who also gave me a lot of trouble, <laughs> but was also a great leader and a great guide and role model. And today, our uh, honorary degree and convocation speaker's daughter, uh, Dolores Huerta's daughter, Camila Chavez, is making her mother a bent twig because <laughs> Camila, that means she's relating her mother to another Mills graduate. Camila is the class of 1998, and uh, she is a remarkable advocate for human rights and for the value of education and is the executive director of the Dolores Huerta Foundation. She has been a woman who has worked to become a leader and in particular to foster other leaders in the Central Valley. So I ask Camila to come to the podium to introduce her mother, Dolores Huerta. College alum, I'm honored to be here as we celebrate Latina Heritage Month at Mills College. And I'm equally honored to introduce today's convicti, convicti, excuse me, honoree, legendary labor and civil rights activist who is also my mother. As you know. So I'm going to give you a different kind of introduction this morning. At a young age, my, my siblings and I learned the importance of sacrifice community, and feminism. We were raised in a mobile home trailer because all of the staff that worked with the farm workers only received $10 volunteer wage. We were raised on food stamps and hand-me-down clothes. But despite our limited means, we were very rich in community and culture. Being raised by a non-traditional mother fostered non-traditional activities, marches, rallies, <laughs> and picket lines. Our mother forced us to speak out against, against injustices, especially when we were uncomfortable doing so. It actually backfired on her. One day, my sisters organized a picket line against her. <laughs> they accused her of being a sexist because she did not allow them to do something she allowed my brother to do. But my five-year-old ears at this time heard sexy, and that was my chant during the picket line. <laughs> However, we later learned that my mother truly was a feminist. She taught us to be independent, opinionated risk-takers. She was one of the first lobbyist, lobbyist women when she began in Sacramento, there was only one other woman at that time in the 1960s. And as a child following her around in Sacramento at the Capitol, I learned that she gained respect through her word. Whether she threatened sit-ins or promised campaign support, politicians knew that she was a force to be reckoned with. It was never for her personal gain, but always for the benefit of the most disenfranchised workers in California and across the country. In the 1980s, she passed major legislation granting citizenship for one and a half million farm workers. She has fearlessly led countless campaigns advocating for workers, women, immigrants, and LGBT. At 80 years old, my mother, Cisa for the Spirit, continues to lead us in our work at the Dolores Huerta Foundation for Community Organizing. As you know, this year marks the 20th anniversary of Mill Strike in 1990. 20 years ago, the college's board of trustees voted to admit men to the undergraduate college. Students waged a 16-day strike to overturn this decision. Our honoree knows something about strikes as well. <laughs> and today, we're the only women's college to reverse the decision to become a co-ed institution. So in recognition of this milestone of Mills history, we're proud to pay tribute to Dolores Huerta, someone who's a champion of social justice, a true American hero, who, like Mills 20 years ago, stood on the principle to advance women in society. Please welcome Dolores Huerta. 